the best the best parts, I think, the initial ideas. Yeah. And then then there comes the long process to to get it look right, and that takes time. You can't just can't just put it down. It needs no, to be yeah. edited and considered. But that's a great considered. process too to see yeah. this thing evolve. That's that's so rewarding. Yeah. It is so exciting. It is like Christmas morning. Every you wake up and say, God, I get into the when book. you've got you know? there, it's a great it's fantastic yeah. feeling. Yeah. I think the worst parts are probably. Oh, what, edit, well, the, editing? The, yes, ed editing can, uh, <laughs> editing can, can, can pull you down every now and then. I think the, the, yeah. the other thing is you, you often feel that it's, it's not finished. You, you want to keep on working keep on back. it and you have yeah. to let go at some point. It is that old art school thing, yeah. is you've got to let it go at some point. Because you will always go back. And of course one of the problems is um, we ne we'll never see that book as anyone else sees it when they first come to read that book. We'll never see that book because we see all the other versions. So for us in our mind, it's still, oh, maybe we should have put that back in. or maybe we, So it is always in our minds, it's still work being worked. So that's a very frustrating part of, it, of being a writer, I think. I, I think I've, I've always, as a kid, yeah, I've I was, always written. You know, from scribbled. when I was very young, and many, many starts of books or mm. ideas for short stories, and never saw it through. I wrote my first full-length book. It was probably in early 1990. Never really did yeah. anything with it. But that was it, a good but, book. Yeah. But then, then um, the, working in the city, um, I mean, I, I used to write. I used to write business plans and public documents and things. And it's not that mm. not creative in the true sense of the word. So I, I've always. I've yeah, but it written, requires yeah. that kind of thing. It does require, you know, there's a lot of those sort of deals with a high, high level of, um, as they say, art of bluff. Involved. Yeah, so there's a, a lot of that. Very creative some thinking. At, some of those business plans were absolute fiction. <laughs> yeah, they were. Yeah. So, it's, yeah. no, and, and for me, I, I mean, I, as I say, I was always sort of a kid, sort of scribbling and writing and stuff. But uh, I started writing. I, I guess when I left school, you know, there's that whole thing. A few years, fancy yourself as a poet or something. So we were like lying around on, on, on our mother's sofas, you know, pretending to be Byron. But, um, but yeah, I, and early stuff, so I, was writing, I used to write poetry and things like that. We ran a, I ran a poetry magazine when I was about uh, 19, 20 years old, we had that. But it was always there because my artwork was involved. I did uh, performance and film. So a lot of that was scripting in a way. So it was always, a, a, if you like, a tool of, of the trade writings. I think both of us. Yeah. You know. I think, um, well, it's that thing, I think you usually, if, you want, if you're thinking along those lines, it, usually it's, it's in you to, that sort of, to some extent. Is that if you've got a feeling that you want to write, it must be something in you, that little engine going, just fancy doing that. And the best advice, uh, I think, for anyone, it's very, just sort of simple uh, advice would be, you know, get obsessed and stay obsessed. It's that thing about Really, you know, and even if it, you know, even if it's bad, because you will, you're not going to write genius works from the work off. So, so even if it doesn't work, just keep at it, you know, and don't be discouraged by people, you know, uh, and read a lot. I think that's the main yeah. thing as well is reading, because we always said, you know, I don't know if you can teach creative writing, but you should teach creative reading, because it is. I think it's very important that they read and read and read as much as they can, you know. Agree? Yeah. I think Ooh. it's just con constant encouragement. Yeah. Yeah. My, my, my two boys write stories and bring them to me, and I try and help them as much as possible. And you know, in terms of the structure and sort of being being log logical mm. about it, and it's, it's just great to see the the way the sort of imaginations grow and they become more confident as they they do more and more of it. And to know that, that you know that they are fragile as well, it's, it is got to be encouraged and not disparaging. You know, it's that thing about it has to be nurtured. It has to be, you know, and also encouraged. I think, but as I say, yeah, positive, sort of uh, reinforcement all the time because it's a fantastic thing that kids are getting into writing. Is you know, it's better than you know a lot of other things they could be getting into. So playing video games. It's, oh, terrible! You never do that, do no, we? No. no. Well, so, so in terms of the series, the tunnel series, it's the, the, the next, next episode, mm -hmm. as it were. Yeah. And it, it follows the story of Will Burroughs as he goes on, I think I could say, deep, deeper, deeper into the into earth. the deeps. Yes, as deeper into the deeps. Um, and that's it, right? And that's it at the moment. Yeah, we can't really expand. But it is, yeah, the second part. It's because this is an ongoing adventure, so.